Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Sault Ste. Marie here at the Northern Community Center. I'm Rod Trudell. I'm alongside John Ostrowski, yep. Chris Carr on a perch, and Jay Houselander in studio as a producer. And tonight we're going to be watching the Sioux Greyhounds of Sault Ste. Marie take on the Ottawa 67s in AAA action. Here we go to puck drop. And there it is, number 17 makes his way to the puck. And Phillips had it, but he lost it. Goes back to Albert. Gravel's hard on it going into the net. And he's gonna get there, but he's beaten back there by number 71, Phillips. Phillips once again has the puck. He sends it back to the D, but he misses that puck. Brown is, uh, pardon me, 17 is Brown. He was hard on it, and Johnston's chasing it. A.J. Borelli comes out to play it. Dos Reese pulls it off the boards, but there's an Ottawa player, picks it up, 92, and he's able to bring it in. But Dos Reese has it again, 21, and he's making his way down the ice on his own with no help whatsoever and here comes his boys there's bell and there's mcdonald mcdonald back after breaking his arm it, i think in three months this is his second game and he's oh his wrist his hand pardon me his hand that's and he is a to. force to be reckoned with that's for sure and it's nice to see his back John, quick start. What do you have to say about the game to start? Absolutely. McDonald, as you said, back from three-month uh, break because of his broken hand. And, yeah, it's going to be a good game. Both teams looking for their first win of this tournament. Ottawa losing 5-2 to two to Markham. and Sorry, 5-3 to three to Markham. And your Greyhounds losing 5-2 to Waterloo, unfortunately. Starting goaltenders today, A.J. Borelli. And there's a shot by the Greyhounds saved by the other starting goaltender for Ottawa, Alex Bone. And there's Watson dumping it in deep. And it goes in, Caruso stops it, Dupuis in there. Dupuy tries to get the puck, but they're getting pressure from Ottawa here. And there goes number four for the Hounds. He's getting it in there and he's coming back as well. And that's number 96, McVoy, McAvoy. He's got the puck and he skates it in, coming from the D and the uh, the forward posts up to take his spot, which is good to see. And number nine, Watson for the Hounds is hard on it. And there's three of them in there digging with the ref trying to get them to move it. Number 11 takes a shot and A.J. Borelli makes no second guess about that and it goes into his big mitt. Yeah, that's a nice save by Borelli and he's the regular starter for these Sioux Greyhounds. Yesterday, Nick Marson uh, took the defeat against the Waterloo Wolves with his first start. So it's nice to see uh, the big 3-0 in net in this uh, Central Ontario AAA tournament. Yeah, so there's Gravel. Gravel takes it. Albert had it now. Gravel's back on it. He just dumps it all the way in. It goes back into the Ottawa zone. Brown had it there, number 17. He pushes, they push it up. It gets in, it's icing. Reel's going back after it. Phillips was there too, but It'll come all the way down into the 67 zone and we'll get a face off to the right of the goalie there. Uh, the last game uh, that was just on, that was between the... Um, that was the Waterloo Wolves. Waterloo Wolves and the... Uh, Timmins Majors. Timmins Majors <laughs> and it was a good game. Uh, the score does not reflect, especially how those Timmins boys played. They played for impeccable uh, the other team just came out and uh, Timmins the hockey gods weren't with them but yeah here's DiBerdino DiBerdino cycles that puck back to Cowan Cowan tried to make a move unable to do so and there's 17 again picking that puck up Brown Brown brings it in he's got Phillips behind him but he instead he eludes to push it right through the net and then it comes out 21 Doris go gives it to his winger, that's Bell. Bell's coming back to do back check. Johnston's there, Johnston looks up, sends it to McDonald, but McDonald can't get that puck and it goes back to number five, Novasad. Novasad sends it, 25 has it now. That's um, Turcotte, Turcotte has the puck. It goes back, 
Back to number five again, Novasad. And it goes up and it's hit by McCarthy, deflection and hits the mesh. We'll get a stoppage of play to the left of AJ Borelli. Yeah, and a nice save by Borelli there. And just a quick uh, note on these Ottawa Junior 67s, their path to this tournament. They won their first series against the Ontario Hockey Academy Mavericks in a four yeah. game series sweep. And then they won in four games against, oh, sorry, uh, they won three, lost one in overtime. And then in their second game, they beat the Upper Canada Cyclones in all, as well in four games to get here. And they should be a pretty formidable opponent wearing those beautiful alternate 67s black and red jerseys. So here we got, we got McCarthy out there, 92. Uh, Nikwana, Nikwana wins the draw. Number five comes back. He dipsy doodles, almost gets right in there. The puck is still loose. Nikwana's still on it, and he gets the puck in the corner. He's still in there trying to cycle it to his other players. And 25 picks it up. Turcott, Turcott comes back to the point. Nothing happens there. Comes almost straight across to I think that was 44 Albert, um, and nothing. Oh, pardon me, not Albert. That's 44 is Almstead, my bad. And sorry about that. I'm doing three games a day, so you can imagine that's about uh, eight, 100 names a game a day that I got to remember. So I apologize if I get it wrong. If I do, just be kind. Come up to me and say, please, you know, the name you're saying, could you just do it properly? This is it. And... And, I, and I'm the most approachable guy in the whole world. My name's Rod. And to the gentleman in Timmins who just did come up to me and talk to me about something, I appreciate it. To you, you don't believe how much I appreciate it. We are volunteers, and we do the best we can here. Ooh. There's a big hit by number six, Johnston. Johnston. The puck gets out to McLeod, all the way to McLeod, then all the way to Doris. Doris, Doris takes a shot, misses it. It goes high. Johnston's hard on it again. He gets back. He gonna go. Will he reverse it? No, he doesn't. Doris gets it, and he turns, tries to get it at center ice, unable to do so. McDonald's there. McDonald was gonna try and give it to Doris, but he just couldn't get that puck controlled. So McDonald once again gets the puck, sends it back to Real, and he picks up some steam coming through the neutral zone, but there's no one there to give him the puck. So here we go, number 23 for 67's coming through, that's MacArthur. MacArthur comes in, tries to get a shot off quick, and here comes AP, Caleb Walker. He's got a head of steam coming down. He is, uh, he may be young, but this kid can play hockey, boy, and he can put the puck in the net, that's for sure. And there we go, there's a chance. He's, he gets out there, they get a chance. So Escas is out there with Schultz, Gravel, and we've got Caleb Walker playing, I think, in the center position. Phillips is on the puck, and it goes over, and Real has it for the Greyhounds. Real puts it over to Escasa. Escasa tries to hit Caleb Walker. Caleb gives a little love tap to number 71, and Schultz finally gets on the puck, and he's trying to get it out, but he can't. Number eight has it, gets the shot, misses, goes high. There's A.J. Borelli, he's squared up, and he looks like he's really dialed in right now, yeah, which is absolutely. nice. absolutely. Schultz tips that puck, and it goes out to the mesh, so we're gonna get a face-off right uh, out here in neutral zone, and it's gonna be farther down near the 67s end in front of their blue line. And something that I want to mention about the Sioux Greyhounds is they go as far as their goaltending takes them because they are so reliant on Borelli and he is just a rock solid player. The Great North U18 goalie of the year, I believe. Is that correct? I'm not sure. Oh, I think I saw somewhere that he did win that. Producer yeah, Jay is giving did. me a nod. So that just speaks to how fantastic AJ Borelli is. Yeah, that for sure. So here we go. That's. Watson, the defenseman, small but mighty. He's back there laying bodies, doing whatever he can. And number 18, DiBerdino's out there. Dibs is on the corner. He flicks that puck up to the captain, Albert. Yep. Albert's in. Oh, Albert tried to make a move, 
and if you would have got his backhand on it, it would have been in. Here it comes Ooh. back out. Oh, just misses. Cowan's back there, too. Goes back to Johnston, but here it goes. 25, Turcotte. Turcotte for the 67s, takes a shot. Ooh. Big A.J. Borelli with the glove save. And no doubt about it, Borelli stands up tall. Big mitt and no problem at all. And just, uh, yeah, just easy, nice and easy. Going to take the face off to the left of him, and we're going to get ready. So here we go. We're going to get that face off, and we've got LeBlanc taking it uh, alongside 61, uh, Kozniewski. And that comes out of the Hound's end, gets back to number 96, McAvoy. And it gets put outside, but there's Dupuis trying to keep it in, but he's unable to do so. And here we go, 61 again. It's coming down. That's Kozniewski. And he got dumped up a bit, but was unable to keep that puck. And Chapman gets pinned up against the board. And there's Kuznuski again. He gets pinned up against with real. And LeBlanc's back there throwing the body as well. But he just can't put the big number 91 into the up against the wall. So Jolker is unable to do anything with the puck. But he's a big boy, that's for sure. So here we go. And number 17 tries to pull that puck off the wall to get into a shooting lane. But he's unable to do so. Dupuy pushes, presses a guy, but then he goes off for a change and Chapman goes over the red line, dumps it in for the 67s, and Dos Reese is on it, and so is uh, Bell, but there go the 67s, not giving much time and space at all to these hounds. Um, Bell's there, he drops it for McDonald. McDonald shoots it, but number 17 lied down and put his body out, Brown, to get rid of that shot and it goes high and hits the mesh and we're gonna get another stoppage of play inside the Hounds end. Yeah, presumably it will be just a face off. Yeah, it'll be right in front of the goaltender Borelli again. And quickly just reminding everybody of tomorrow's games, Ottawa and Waterloo at noon, Timmins at Markham 315 and then York Hounds against the Vaughn Kings at 645. So. 67's Wolves, Majors, Waxers, Greyhounds, Kings coming nice. tomorrow. Beautiful save, A.J. Borelli. There was a shot right off that draw. McDonald's coming in. He breaks in, stops at the hash marks, tries to turn and give that uh, pass right away over to Bell, but he couldn't get it there, so he's going to go get a. He's going to take a break, which is well-deserved. There's the 67s trying to get the puck out. Doris is all over them still. 16's there, Bell, but... He could not keep that puck on a stick, and he loses it and goes behind the net, and the 67s break out. Phillips in front, but he can't get to the puck, so here we go. Johnston's on it now. Johnston loses it to Phillips. Boom! There's A.J. Borelli dialed in again. Yep. Here comes Caleb Walker down that wing, but Escoss is going to have to move in and get the puck for him, and there we go, but it looks like the Greyhounds... Oh, little trip there by... Uh, the young uh, 67s player, number 92. And uh, the puck goes all the way down the ice. And now the 67s are trying to make well of it. But Albert makes a move there. And then he's on his way in. Sends it to DiBerdino. DiBerdino takes a shot but doesn't go in. And it's kept in by Real. Albert also keeps it in. He's working hard at it. But Real has to step back out as that puck is on its way into the Hounds end, and we're gonna get a holding call, I think, here on uh, number 14, Gravel, as he did hold up his player on his way in, and Nosad has it, shot taken, nothing that hits the net there, and the Greyhounds did touch it there, but no whistle, so it keeps on, Nosad has the puck, he has it, sends it over to his D partner. He gets a quick little snapper, but Albert touches the puck finally. And uh, we're going to get that penalty call. It looks like holding. Yeah, you said holding. It will be against number 18, Lucas D. Bernardino. And he's going to go to the sin no, bin. No, that's 14, Gravel. Oh, sorry, number 14, Samuel Gravel. He will go to the sin bin. Hounds will be five on four for two minutes here. Uh, so we got 19-19 left in the first period. 
And uh, we five shots for the home team, which is the 67s, and only one for the Hounds. So there's something we have to change. But Phillips is there. It comes out. Phillips tried to give a nice saucer pass to the center of the ice, but unfortunately it hit a player and bounced back out. So the 67s are down in their end, and they're about to make a power play breakout. Here we go, 96. McAvoy has it. He turns, stops at the hash marks, puts it back to Murphy, back to the hash marks to 96, all the way across to the other side of the defenseman. 23 gets it, but the deep Greyhounds are there and they're able to get it out of their end. Dupuy got it down far enough. Cowan's out there now. He also has Albert. They're in the 1-1-2. One, one, so here we go, 67's break out, 17 makes his way across, sends it over to the winger, the winger brings it in, they get a little bit more room, should have stopped at the hash marks but did not, here we go, Cowan's on that puck now, he's trying to get to it, the goalie who saw him coming, decided to rim it around the boards, and there we go, number 17, Brown's on it again, Brown is able to do anything, so the Greyhounds just dump it down and it hits the goalie. They get a full change. Here comes number five for, that's Novasad. Novasad sends it to 25. That is Dur Turcott. Turcott keeps control of the puck. Here we go again with the saucer passes. Comes over. Turcott once again sends it back to number five, Novasad. And there it goes to McAvoy. McAvoy has it in. Goes back behind the net to number 81. 81. Jolker, he can't do anything with it. Back to Novasad, shot, and there's AJ Borelli with a glove save. Good work by the Sioux Greyhounds to keep their shape and not yeah. give anything easy by the Ottawa 60 for the Ottawa 67s. Both teams are playing tremendous hockey right now. Yeah, this now. is great hockey. We're not we're not giving too much time. We're not giving too much space for any team. Yeah. So it's going to come down to who's going to make the first mistake. And you can tell because it's already 7:04. And there's only eight, seven minutes left to go in the period. Exactly. There hasn't, hasn't been many whistles. Nope. Whoa. No, that goes off the post there. And here we go. That's That'll get people going. And reels out, or pardon me, Bell's out there. He's working hard in that corner trying to get that puck. Comes out to the D for the 67s, but the Greyhounds are able to get it out of the end. It comes out of the blue line. And Tate, the linesman, he caught that real quick. Yeah. And uh, that was good on him. So we're going to have a face-off just outside of the Hounds end. Uh, pardon me, Hounds uh, defensive end, as it was offside. Yeah, and that was a good catch by the linesman. I don't For think the, sure. I don't think the official saw it there. No. So here we go, and it comes in. There's Watson, the defenseman for the Hounds. He gives it up to the centerman. There's McDonald. McDonald gives it to the center. That's Bell. Bell. Over to Dos Reese. Dos Reese didn't see it. And then it comes out. Goes to number 98. And 98 comes in. Nothing there for him. No one to give it to. So McDonald's back at it. McDonald tries to get it. Dos Reese is there. But McDonald will get that puck. And he just slides it up. And tries Ooh. to get Johnson to get it. That sounded a lot bigger than it was. And here we go. McDonald does have the puck, but he loses it again. Novasad has it. He sends it back, but the defenseman was changing. 14 comes on for the 67s. And uh, I don't see him on my list, so we're just going to call him 14. McDonald makes it in. And here we go. Takes a shot just over top. And number five, Novasad comes out. He's pushing hard. And he's got Phillips with him in the in forward. And there's Caleb Walker. Caleb Walker takes a shot. Hits it right in the bread basket, but that's what we need. Shots. Shots on goals. Yeah, because right now it seems like the most of the offensive pressure is coming from the 67s. Couple quick yeah. saves that Borelli had to make, but Right now, you really got to stay in their end and make some offense happen. Yeah, for sure. He comes back to real. Yeah. Caleb gets a stick on it. Walker, and he tips it. So that was nice to see. Made that. And Escasa comes back. He puts it back to Gravel. Gravel moves in, sends it all the way deep, and Escasa's on the move, too. 
Escasa gets in there. Albert's there to help him. Caleb Walker sits out tight and on the top of the circle there waiting. And now he switches off. And uh, that's it. There's Albert. He's in on the puck. The captain. Caleb Walker dumps it straight in and he'll go off for a change. Rightfully so. Albert's in deep. He's forcing the defenseman and stows the Scassa. Albert gets to that puck, but he leaves it. Number uh, 15 has it, LeBlanc. And he gets it back and he sends it in deep. Here goes the Scassa. He's going to get a change. Number eight for... Um, Renai Otis is out there for, uh, there he is, number eight for 67. Shot, and Phillips was had it in his hand, and if he would have been able to get it down in his shot, he may have had a goal, but he was just too far in. So now it comes back out, and it goes in. Number eight just chips it all the way down. Watson comes back. He takes the puck behind the net. He sends it all the way to the centerman to Dupuis the Hounds. And Dupuis gets dumped by the 67s player and play continues. Number 31 for the 67s makes his way in. And to no avail, nothing's there. Reggett has the puck now. Reggett dumps it all the way in. 67s player's on it. Johnston swipes. He's able to get that puck out farther. And there he is again. So Johnston, Johnston has it, backhands it, it comes out, not too far, but 25 has it now and he's coming in, Turcotte. Turcotte goes and he stops at the hash marks. He's looking for someone to play to. Goes to Brown in the blue line. And the other defense walks in, tries to get a shot on net, unable to do so. And DiBerdino is able to get it, but he loses it right away and it comes to Brown. Brown walks in, here's a shot, right in the shooting lane. And A.J. Borelli is solid in that net. And it looked like the puck came on. No, it didn't come loose. And oh, my goodness. A little bit of rough stuff. And that's to, he was getting dragged across the ice in all well, of 67. I, he, he had his stick. Oh, he was And okay. he landed on it. So when he was pulling his stick, he was pulling the, the player with him. Oh, okay. I don't think he meant it. No, I guess he yeah. didn't. No, that's uh, pretty yeah. funny, though. There's going to be a penalty. Yeah, I think so, for sure. But um, what are you going to call, right? Maybe unsportsmanlike yeah. for holding the guy's stick. I, unless I, unless it wasn't sure. intentional, then you can't really yeah. call anything. It's hard to call that. Yeah. Anyways, it, it's a penalty. But we will quickly yep. take a moment and uh, talk about what we've seen so far. So, like I said, it's a lot of the offense is coming from Ottawa, and Sue is holding tight. They're doing a really good job of holding tight. But, uh, you know, sooner or later, you got to think Ottawa's going to capitalize on one of these. So you have to pick your moments and try and get out and tr get counter the play, what? get into the offensive zone of the oh. 67s. Wow. That, yeah. was, that penalty was on the goalie, Borelli. Okay. Oh. That's who got it. Wow. So Pirelli, <laughs> Schultz went in and took the penalty for him. Okay. LeBlanc was in there, and he couldn't understand why, and now I understand because he didn't know what he did. So that was A.J. Pirelli oh for roughing that. Quick opportunity for the Sioux Greyhounds. Puck was lost for a second there, but the goaltender was able to stifle it. That was number 29 as the goaltender. Now, and now that, thinking back to that that's play, Alex Bowen. that's a that that's hard to imagine how AJ got that penalty. I'm not it's, sure how he yeah, got that penalty. Yeah, it was weird. Anyways, it is a penalty, yep. so let's move on. Three minutes left in the first, minute 35 left in the penalty. Here it comes up to McAvoy for McAvoy for the uh, 67s. He takes that shot. It goes wide. Number eight also was there to take another shot, but it went wide. Comes back to Murphy. Murphy sends it across ice over, and it also hits the glove of big A.J. Borelli. And McAvoy sends it again over to that defenseman. And the D takes it, and there's, there's that yeah. big glove again. That's something we said all season yeah. long. We, you don't beat A.J. Borelli on the glove side. No. You McArthur, either. And MacArthur for the 67s, he can release that puck on that defense yeah. line like nobody's business. Absolutely. So, and a face -off. we'll have a face-off, yeah, to the left of AJ, uh, Borelli, and uh, it looks like Dupuis will take that draw. Dupuis out there with uh, Watson's there for the defenseman and Raggett. 
We also have Caruso, number eight. Here we go, that's number 13, Dupuy. He just flicked it in the air by mistake and that was it. So he could have killed off a little bit more of the penalty, but he did kill some of it. 51 seconds left there and the Greyhounds are pressing. Brown has that puck now at the hash marks, puts it into center ice, shot, Watson's there to clean up in front of the net. What he does so good. And there we go, number 12, Raggett's there. Dupuy gets it and sends it all the way down. And the boys in red and white will get a change. And then it comes all the way up. Number 44 sends it in and it's sent over to Turcotte. Turcotte tries to get that puck. No one's on it. Bell. Bell's on it, Brown's there as well. But Bell gets it, Bell sends it all the way down, but Dos Reese is on it, and he can skate. And uh, Dos Reese tries to make a move, but he's unable to. So here we go, 44, back in. He's looking for a shot, he takes it, misses the whole net, and it comes back to Novosad. Novosad tries to get that puck in and get a tip. He does so, but the tip doesn't do anything. So the puck stays in play. Bell has it now. Bell drops to his knees and loses the puck, but he gets back up and he continues to work hard. And there's a penalty. And yeah, that's tough call for the Greyhounds. Gonna be most likely a hit from behind on Colson Bell. Crowd most definitely doesn't like it. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, that's a home crowd. They're never gonna yeah, like course. it, right? Of course. So. I don't know if it was a hit from behind. It was it was kind of iffy. So we will just, like we said, yeah. it's not our job. Yeah, it's no. not our job to officiate. It's our job to call the game. So that's what we're going to do. Let's call the game. Just unfortunate. Yeah, uh, it, you know, it was, it was a really good game. It had a really good flow. But who knows? This could turn them around too, right? Yeah. You, build, you kill this penalty off and get some momentum. Gravel has them pinned up against the boards. 96, tries to put it in front of the net. It comes out to 23, that's MacArthur. MacArthur to Murphy, Murphy all the way to number eight. Eight tries to get a shot in. That's Renotis. Renotis puts it in, Phillips is in there. There's number, big number 96 there. 96 is McAvoy. McAvoy put, tries to put it in front and he does so, but he gives it back and there's McAvoy again. And number eight's there again, Renotis. Renotis shoots and there's two tips and it didn't go in, went up, hit the mesh and that's it. Shots. 15 seconds left in the first period and it's a minute 15 left in the, in the penalty. There's 15 shots for the 67s against Four yeah, I was just about to. Say, I was just about to say the shot total so there's, is very lopsided. So tells you where the difference is right now. So there's 19 Albert, our captain, uh, the captain of the Greyhounds. We keep a neutral, and 44 is there. He sends it over and tries to get a shot for a forward, but there's the buzzer, and that's it for your, our first period here. We end this period zero zero. Thank you for watching. We'll be back in 12 to 13 minutes.
right, here we are. We just we're dropped, dropped the buck. Caruso gets it. We're into the third period here with this OHF championship. We're on Robin action between the 67s and the Greyhounds. This has been a great game so far, first period. <clears throat> Pardon me, the 67s are on a power play. And for the next 36 seconds, and then it ends, and we go back to regular strength for both teams. So here we go, 67s break out of the rim. Number 16 sends it up to number 17, that's Brown. Brown dumps it in. Turcotte's in the side wall there to catch that puck. And he puts it puts it back to him. Turcotte, once again there, sends it over to Murphy. Murphy to 17, and he can't finish it. Back to Murphy. Back to, then he shoots, hits the glass. And there we go, Gravel's in there, mucking it up now. Trying to get that puck to stay on the boards. And the, guy, and the player's out of the box, so now we're at five on five. 18.54 left in the second. A nice save there by Borelli, nice and in, quickly into his chest, nice and easy for him. Shots are 16 Ottawa, four Sioux, and that was something we talked about. The Sioux Greyhounds have to start making their way up the ice and you know get some opportunities on the Ottawa 67's goaltender today. Yeah, for sure. So here we go, Greyhounds taking the puck, dropping their own end, Ragged gets it. It goes all the way back. Johnston's on it. McCla McDonald's there too. But Bell gets that puck, but then it comes straight back out. And 88's on his way. He comes through. He pushes it across, but no one's there. And there we go. The Hounds are back this way. Bell's with the puck. Dos Reis is there. So Bell gets it. He tries to put it in front. No one's there. They all went way too far. So here we go. The 67's back the other way. This is end-to-end -end action. That's how it's been in the first period, and looks like that's how the second's going to be. Great flow. Dos Reese has it, but he can't reach it. So 61 for 67's have it. That's Kuznevsky. Kuznevsky sends it all the way in. It's tipped, so there's no icing on that. Number 11, Caleb Walker's in on it. Caleb's got a great stick check on his man. No call there. Beautiful check from Caleb. And he gets the puck and it's tipped all the way down. And that's LeBlanc after it as well as Escasa. Escasa has it. There's, comes back but it hits the defenseman. There's number four, he gets the puck. Escasa gets it. Caleb Walker tries to move in to help out as well. But he can't get to the puck. And it's sent into the corner of the 67s. LeBlanc gets there first, but he cannot get the puck, and neither can Escasa. Escasa finally gets it, sends it back to the defenseman. It's deflected, and the goalie made a save. And nice. it was a pretty good save, to be honest, because that puck was bouncing, and that's uh, Bolin. Yeah, nice save by Alex Bolin, and it will be a face-off. And quickly, our sponsors for this tournament are Thompson Hardwood Flooring, JDM Sports, Sioux Thunderbirds, and the Sioux Concussion Clinic. Thank you very much for your support in grassroots sports in the Sioux St. Marie and Algoma region. There we go. Cowan gets blown out. So DiBerdino goes in, gets the puck, comes out. 67's knock it down. Number 8's on his way in. He tries to put it against the boards, but he can't do so. So number 11 turns and sends it all the way in. A.J. Borelli tried to come out of his net to stop it by his net, but he was unable to do so. Number eight takes a shot, he's there. A.J., or pardon me, DiBerdino just couldn't get a handle on that puck. And here he is now, and DiBerdino finally gets the puck out. He's, he's a workhorse, so you know, he's never gonna give up, but he sometimes gets himself into it. McAvoy has it, he sends it up to number eight. That's Renault notice and he comes in over the blue line. There he is. He's got guys calling for the puck, but he can't get it over to anyone. So that's 71, Phillips, Phillips. Tries to do something with it, but he just can't do so. So there's a hit on the Hounds player, and there's Caruso. Caruso has Albert. Caruso goes in, Albert goes off for a change. Caruso doesn't know what to do with the puck, reels on the point, but there we go. Phillips has it now, and he, goes, takes a shot, but it's deflected into the corner. It comes in front of the 90, then they score. That was number 81, McCarthy. 
He just waited until there was garbage lying in front of the net and he picked up a goal, no problem. Those are the goals you have to be back after all the time. Yeah, that's a heartbreaker for the Sioux faithful as well. Everybody in this building just a little bit more, a little bit quieter after that one. And it felt like it was a matter of time for the Ottawa uh, 67s as, they've ha if they, as they've had so many shots. Yeah. But you've got to be disappointed to leave that rebound open and not help out your goaltender. I there. don't think it was just the rebound. I think it started before that even, like, uh, Caruso made a kind of play with the puck and he was by himself and it, it, he should have gotten rid of it better and there was a lot of things that could have been done there that I'm sure uh, Danny will address yeah. for us to kind of address here it would take us too long so LeBlanc comes in all the steam oh. he needs oh I thought it was going in and there we go number four pinches he puts it in but they're 67s headed the other way. They go in and Watson, Watson just can't do it. So Caruso once again gets that puck and Watson's hard on it with number four back there helping him out as defensive partner. And he makes his way out. He sends it up line to McDonald. McDonald has it. He skates in, he breaks. I thought he was gonna split the 2D, but he did not. And we finally get a whistle. Is there going to be a penalty? Yes, there is. It's a slash against two. We have no clue. We'll find out in a second here. We'll find out both on the ice. And there it is, number 25, Turcot. Yeah, that's he'll, it. He'll be going to the box. And quickly now, I'd like to quickly talk about the bench bosses, especially the GN U18 Coach of the Year, Denny Lambert. He's done such a fantastic job turning this team around midseason. He sure has. Watson back to Cowan. Cowan shoots, doesn't get anything on it. McDonald's in the corner. Puts it back to Watson again, back to McDonald. McDonald at that high spot on the top of the circle. Back to McDonald, back to Cowan again, but it's, it was off a bit. So now they're gonna reset. Back to Watson, back to McDonald. McDonald gets it off the boards and it, all, it comes out. Cowan will have to retreat. Watson has it, pushes it to McDonald, and McDonald pushes it back to Cowan. Cowan skates with it now. Comes across the blue line. He's gonna have to stop and set, and or someone will. And there's Dos Reese. Dos Reese turns it back around and he tries to, and Cowan tried to put it to Bell beside the net, but he couldn't do so. So now it comes all the way out, and Cowan just kind of goes off the and they try to get fresh legs out there oh. those reese was there he there it was a way to go there it was right there borelli yeah. with the pass then borelli had a pass but nothing shaking there so borelli's out of the net but he makes the right thing happen and red gets hard on it and there's i think that was a 67th player who just iced it in his own hand i'm not too sure yeah. I didn't, uh, red see. it red it it goes off his skate Reggett turns, comes this way, goes trying to get through center ice, but he's got number eight all over him. That 67s team has shortened their bench up yeah, they very did. early. They did, and you got to watch with Reggett. He spent a little bit too much time with yeah. the puck there. you got to get rid of the puck about a second quicker yeah. if you're on the Greyhound side. So LeBlanc has it. So we're looking at 13 minutes in the second left, and it looks like 67s. They've already tightened their bench up a bit, so reels out there for the Hounds. He pushes it back to DiBerdino. DiBerdino tries to get it out to LeBlanc, but he's unable to do so. So reels there, he stops it with his his shin pad, and now he's on to 88 in the corner. Ooh. They they put it in front, but there's nothing to be had there. There's Gravel's there, and Albert is on eight now. Albert has the puck. Albert starts to move out. He's moving. DiBerdino's with him. DiBerdino gets the puck. He shoots it at the net. There's nothing there. The, you can hear the parents. They're right into it as well. There's the puck. Cowan. Cowan dumps it in, and now they're all back after it. Cow, there's DiBerdino. He's moving in. He's on wow. 96. He put his lot of steam into that. Now Albert's trying to give his shot to it. It comes across. Hits one of the 67's players, and that's 25 Turcotte again. Takes a shot, and there's a save by A.J. Borelli. 
There's Caleb Walker pinning his man up against the boards. He also has 14 Gravel helping him out. Gravel pushes that puck across, goes all the way back to the blue line. Number 11 keeps it in for the 67s. And there's a play by the defenseman or Cow in number 20, and he just sent it out without looking. It almost put it on the stick of an Ottawa player, which wouldn't have been great. But 81 takes it. McCarthy, there's 14, Gravel. Gravel just flicks it up and he gets it out. And here we go. Cowan's off, Albert's off, all Walker's off. Everyone t gets a change. And there's icing, so that's good. And yeah, they're gonna so change now it. We're gonna get a fresh legs out there and hopefully get a set play here. And hopefully this will be the TSN turning point. And like like you said, they're definitely uh, s shortening their bench on oh, the yeah. Ottawa side. Someone number who's on the ice all the time eight. is number 88, Vincent Dubay. So How he's number feel? eight. Yeah, and number eight as well, Viranos, who got the assist for McCarthy's goal earlier. And there's an interception. Dos Reese is all over the place right now. He's been playing exception. Yeah, he's everywhere. Yeah. So here he goes again. He's got the puck again. Dos Reese sends it out to Watson. Watson shoots, goes right on net. Escoss is there. He puts it behind the net to Bell. Bell picks it up. Bell looks. No one's really there. There's Bell again. He gets to the puck before anyone else. Bell once again gets to the puck before anyone else. But Dos Reese was way behind the net, nowhere to go. Watson now has it. And there's Bell calling for it, but he didn't get it. But he plays the man, Dos Reese now has it. And he gets the puck. And now number 14 is dragging him with his stick. There's Dos Reese. he can't put it in the net. Number eight grabs it. Number eight's out there again. He sends it up to 11, 11 dumps it in and there goes 14 towards the net. No, Ooh. he tries to get it across, but no stick got on it. There's Bell. Bell turns and sends it up to five. Schultz, or pardon me, Caruso. Caruso and Escasa are out there. Here goes Bell. Bell picks it up, turns it. Rag gets out there, sends it over to number four, and it goes up to number eight, Caruso. Caruso, now number 44, has it. Elmstead for the uh, 67s. And they dump it in. 88 has it, Dubé. And Dubé got it all the way in, and now the 67s are trying to control it in the Hounds end, and they score with a beautiful tip by number 91, Joel Kerr. And Jolie Care. Julie Care, and yeah. that was an absolute beautiful goal. Yeah. No, like you can't say it wasn't. They were, both teams were playing hard. And I don't mind seeing that at all. You yeah, know? that's unfortunate for the Greyhounds yeah, once again. It is what it is. And right? there's a great display from the alternate captain going over, giving yeah. your guy Borelli a, pa a tap on the pads and saying, it's all good, it's, buddy. Yeah, Because you're got just you. like, AJ, you're playing awesome, man. Yeah. Like, you are just playing so great. And shots are 22 to 7. You guys have been a bit outmatched today, but keep, keep your yeah. head up, keep working. The game's not over. By any means. So here we go. Brown pulls it off the wall, gets a shooting lane, can't get anything through. Now he comes back again to Brown. Brown just sends it back into the corner or back down to number 88. And there it is. Caruso gets back down there to help out. So does LeBlanc. LeBlanc comes out to pinch. But, oh, Real just hit that puck. I thought he was going to deflect it right in. And there goes the puck. Goes all the way down the ice. And we have number 13, Dupuy after it. Dupuy's trying to push up against the defenseman. And there's 18, Dierberdino. Comes all the way down, Johnston has it. AJ Borelli plays the puck around the net. Here we go, Johnst or that's Johnston again. Johnston comes in, goes across, gets to the puck. And he's still going, he's digging for it. Cowan's there as well. He, Watson takes the shot, Johnston. Gets to the puck, he can't keep it in. He does though, he pushes it. Goes over to 81, 81 moves in, McCarthy. He, number 25, took a shot, that's Turcotte. Goes high, hits the match. Yep, and eight minutes left to go in this shot. Okay. are 22 to seven for the Ottawa 67s. Thank you to everybody listening on Sioux Sports, True House Radio, or if you're listening,
I think those are the only two places you can listen, <laughs> either the Sioux Sports YouTube or True House Radio. So we thank you very much for spending your Tuesday evening with the Tuesday two of day. us. Or, yeah, I guess Tuesday day. We've, we've been here since yeah, 10. We've morning. been here since uh, about 10 yeah. after 11, and it's been yeah. all so much fun to be here today. Yeah, it's been a great day. So here we go, Dallas Reese. He's been playing great. 92 breaks in. That's Nikawana. Nothing wow. happens and there. This guy AJ's has block, glove is unreal, man. You, this guy has some wheels. Sorry for cutting you off there, oh, Roddy, no. but uh, Nikawana. Yeah, Nikawana. It's just Hunter Nikawana. He turned. He turned up so quickly. Got to uh, another yeah. level, and oh my goodness, you need to watch out for this guy. Those guys are special. Yeah, they really are. Oh, he saw us. Oh, oh my goodness. In. That's yeah. It's a. a Ottawa's going to celebrate this one, but that's a heartbreaker for Borelli. because really he is. He laid down. He thought he had. It looks like it was 71 Oliver Phillips who yeah. put it in. We will confirm that when we get it. Unfortunate him. bounce, yeah. you know. But sometimes those bounces can change the game. Oh, absolutely. In a totally different direction, right? So let's make sure that happens. So here we go. So goal scored by Oliver oh, Phillips. We got a timeout here. I'm sure that was Coach. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Goal scored by number 71 Phillips, assisted by number 16 Grady Murphy at 7:39 of the second period. And we will take a quick break while the players are discussing during their timeout. out you pull the best parts of them out yeah and, and each guy you do that with so you know they all went in there they didn't get their butts reamed out yeah. or anything they went in and they were given constructive criticism and the thing about lambert he was a tough guy on the ice i think everybody oh, yeah. knows that he'll drop the glove with a moment's notice but yeah he's not it's such a different persona him the person and him the coach yeah He's just such a relaxed, chill guy to talk to, and I think that really benefits his coaching. Yeah, Murphy sends it over to 71 again. He takes another rip, and he just misses again. So here we go again, back out in front, stopped. Here comes McDonald. McDonald has that puck, sends it up to Dos Reese. He's all in on it, takes it and scores! He comes over, hits the hash marks, takes the shot, and it goes over the pad into the far side of the net, and here we go, it's 3-1, 7-14 left in the second period, and let's go house. And it's in here, it sounds like the, the Major Junior Greyhounds just won the Memorial Cup. This building <laughs> just erupted, oh my goodness, and you know, it felt like. I think that's what it did sound like in 1994. Well, there you go, 93. <laughs> Um, 93, yeah, sorry. Yeah, well, it was 93, 94, wasn't it? 92, 93. Oh, no. Yeah. That's how much I know. Oh. Okay, so here we go again. Oh, Escasa's being Escasa. He's getting there under everyone's skin. I love it. So here we go. Number four, Contalainen. He pushes the puck up, and here we go, Albert. Albert goes the other way, and it's kept in by Watson. Watson keeps it in, goes all the way back, and there we go, comes up all the way to the forward, but Dupuis there, and so is Brown, but Jossier, oh, there's a trip, and I'm not sure if that was a trip or a dive, but something has to be called, and that's a trip. So the Hounds are gonna go to the penalty box again, Unfortunate Unfortunately, for Unfortunately. Yeah, that'll uh, be number nine. I'm not sure if that's number nine, oh, actually. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. It looks like LeBlanc. Yeah, yeah, number 15, Wyatt LeBlanc will serve two minutes for tripping. Mm -hmm. And right after scoring a goal, that's the absolute worst thing that could happen other than conceding another goal. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's just not the way to really uh, cash nope. in on that momentum you just got. But that's okay. Let's keep going. So... We got 621 left. Let's get through the period uh, penalty. Turcot here, and I'd like to go to five on five hockey because both teams have been playing wonderful. 
So it comes out to the point, goes over to 12, up, high, misses. And there it is, it's in the corner again. And it's pushed, 25, Turcotte pushes it over, tries to get a shot off, can't do so. He was calling for the puck back, but he didn't get it. There's Turcotte, sends it over to Novoskat. And Turcotte tries to pick it up again, but he loses it. Here it goes back to Turcotte. Turcotte skates in with it. He's gonna either go in and set, which he does, and he pushes it all the way across the ice to the other player, back to the D, back to Turcotte, shoots, misses, and the Greyhounds are able to get it all the way down the ice and get a quick change. Yeah, great. And look at the hustle. Great, look at that hustle. Great penalty kill by the Greyhounds so far, able yeah. to keep their shape and just, I don't even Both think. Both teams hustled so hard to get a change of players. It was unreal. Uh, MacArthur comes in and he dumps the puck all the way down. Gravel has it. Cowan's out there and it comes to 71. That's Phillips, one of the goal scorers. Back to MacArthur. Phillips tries to get a deflection, unable to do so. And it comes out of the net, the goalie. And there we go. Goes back out and there's Albert. Albert's out there with Cowan. Cowan's still there trying to get the puck. And that better not be a trip, because that guy... That looks like he is calling it a trip, and it is a trip. So that's another trip, and Mr. Uh, Cowan is going to take a seat in the box. That's surprising. Not Cameron Cowan usually doesn't take penalties, but like you said, you're pretty surprised that was called a trip. And yeah. Definitely unfortunate for the well, U18 Hounds. He was going for the puck, and... When he hit the stick, the kid stepped on it. It's a trip. It doesn't matter. It's not. It wasn't really Camden trying to do it. Yeah. But it's still a penalty, yeah. right? You have to have complete control of your stick wherever it is. Yeah. Well, the silver lining here is you really need one clearance, and then it's a regular penalty. Exactly. So they got to get out though, Turcotte, and yeah. they got to start moving, move, move. Here we go. That's it. Okay. Derek got then that penalties. Nice hit. Wait a minute. Uh, get wired. Goal. Okay. I don't know. I didn't know why the number, the guy wasn't coming out of the box. The penalty was over and they were all sitting there. Yeah, he should have just went. He shouldn't yeah. have waited for the change. Anyway, so here we go. And it comes back and 96 has it there. But there we go, 16 Bell. Oh, Bell there you go. Bell sends it up to there Dos you go. Dos Reese is making his move. He takes the shot, he misses. He should have took a little bit more time, but we can all say we know what's best to do. And here we go, number eight, dumps it all the way back in. 71 Phillips is there. 71 hits the brakes, he goes, circles back. Comes back to 96, McElroy. Back to Phillips, Phillips has it. Phillips dumps it back to 96. 96 over to five, five in down low. And back to Phillips. Bell gets it. Bell gets a piece of it, but he can't get it out. And Bell's on it again. Comes over to 25, big shot, nothing there. And Phillips once again picks it up. Comes back, Bell's on it. Comes over to Dos Reese, back to Phillips, or to Terracotta. Turcot tries to put it in, can't do so. And here we go, 80, 88 has it. And it comes back again, 25, over to 96, shot. Nothing again. So, you know, they're clearing their own penalty. They're killing their own penalty right now. Five seconds left. Here we go, Dos Reese is there. He gets the puck all the way up to Cowan. Cowan tries to send it back to Dos Reese. How come they're not calling any tripping on the 67s i'm not sure but maybe they aren't seeing them oh uh, there the, was the a fans yeah. are not happy at all <laughs> and there's a penalty i think finally against ottawa no that's against the hounds oh really no nope, yeah. it's oh he's yeah he's getting removed no i know but the door's open and lambert is looking i believe to talk to an official And our refs, you, you <laughs> got to have a line and starting with a little bit. 
Yeah, this, well, we're going to hope that it uh, doesn't escalate more than it has to. And it looked like number, yeah, number 15. It looked like he left. That was Wyatt LeBlanc. I'm not. All right, so we're going to have a face off. It'll be to the right of uh, AJ Borelli. And here we go. Gravel's on the right, Le, uh, 13 Dupuy takes the draw. They kick out uh, 67's player, Dupuy wins the draw and he comes back and picks it up. And there we go, Escasa as well is out there. And they just gotta kill this off and not allow the referees to defeat them right now. Yeah. And that's all they have to do is put that and forget about it and just play hockey. So here we go, 20, uh, two minutes left in the period. Here we go, number five picks it up for the 67s and he puts it over to number 14. 14 makes his way in, or pardon me, 44 makes his way in. Nothing there to shoot, nothing, no, there's nothing open. The Hounds are playing these pet PKs perfectly. There's the shot all the way down yeah. and there we go. The Hounds are are dialed in on the penalty kill, and DiBerdino's hard after this guy, killing the yeah. killing the penalty. Great and what, penalty. Now what? Now we got another call. It looks here. like it's against it Ottawa. Looks like it might be against Ottawa because they had possession of the puck and the and the there whistle we go. blew right it away. It looks like too many men on the ice. That's not the penalty you want to take right now, either side, especially Ottawa. I think it was though. Yeah. Yep. And they put Phillips in the box, which blows my mind. Yeah, that's. He's been on the ice most of the game. Unless he needs a two minute break, then it doesn't really make uh, much well, sense. Well, no, because he's, he's. We only oh, got. Oh, no, it's a, a penalty against 70. Oh, it's a bench minor, though. They yeah, get, it's yeah. a bench minor. So they could put anyone. Yeah, of course. But they got a minute 23 only in the period. Let him have a break. And he might not even be on the PK, right? Yeah, true. So. Here we go, shot on net, Albert gets to it. Unfortunately, not to the net, but he does. Here he is again, Albert. See if he can do something with it, he does it. Here's eight again, I don't know if number eight's come off. There's that big mitten. The nice save. AJ just has a beautiful glove, boy. Yeah, beautiful save for Ellie yeah. once again. But let's see what happens here. So we've got Cowan out there again, uh, Johnston, Albert, and Watson. So what? Uh, he wins the draw, Cowan, flicks it up, gets it to Albert, then he pinches the sideboards there, and there we go again, Albert, he dumps it in, and it comes all the way down, 17 gets it, but Albert's back there with him and all the hounds are in on that blue line. I'm not sure if they're gonna pinch or what, but there we go, Cowan has it. There Sends it, is, it over it to Albert, back, oh. uh, back to Cowan, nothing there. Reel's gotta hold the line, but he couldn't because he just walked off the, uh, off the, he just walked off of the bench and he didn't know if he was gonna have too many men. So here we go, Cowan once again pushes it. And number 19, Albert has it. Oh, it's kept in. We're gonna get too many men here. No, we're not. Dos Reese keeps it in. Here we go. Dos Reese has it, sends it to Cowan. She puts it in, puts it up. <laughs> Just can't put it in the net. And that's it for the period. It is three to one. And the Greyhounds will come back out and they will have a power play for 37 seconds. And we will see you in 12 to 13 minutes to finish off this game.
All right, welcome back to this third period action of the OHF Championship here in Sault Ste. Marie Northern Community Center. It's the Sioux Greyhounds AAA against the 67s AAA with 3-1. The uh, 67s are up going into this third period. It's been an excellent hockey game and uh, I'm sure it's gonna be a great ending period as well. So here we go, Bell's fighting it, McDonald's fighting it on the boards. It comes back to Watson on the D, Watson. He pushes it up, goes over to Cowan. Cowan has it. And it remember, the Greyhounds are on a power play yes. for uh, the next six seconds. <laughs> so here we go, back to Cowan, back to Watson. Watson knows that there's someone coming in. We need a shot. Back to McDonald. McDonald or sends it to Dos Reis. Dos Reis had it. He hits behind him there. He picks it back up. Comes out in front of the net. Shoots. Just misses wide. And there we go. McDonald's on it. McDonald's out of a heck of a game for a yes. kid that's not played for three months. That's for sure. Absolutely he and has. And here he is. He's played, played his position well. Everything. And oh, he got tripped, but... He also kicked up, and he, Phillips may have a cut chin there. Oh, my goodness. Because uh, the skate did come up pretty high there, and but he's, he's, he's going to go to the box. I don't think uh, any blood was drawn. No, nope. well, it, been, it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah. But so Phillips tripped the guy, and when he tripped, his feet kicked up and wow. hit him right in the chin. Wow, he grazed so, his yeah, chin, I suppose, yeah, but exactly. he got he got lucky. He could have been way worse. Yeah, Reggett keeps it in, sends it over to Real. Real sends it back to Escasa. Escasa back to uh, Cowan, back to Escasa. DiBerdino's in front, hits Real coming off the wall, but can't really do much with it. Reggett gets it again, and Escasa has it. Escasa down to Real, out to Albert. Albert can't get a lot on it. And it comes all the way down and out. And Borelli with. Borelli will pick it up and Reggett there. Reggett will stop and he'll make his way. It comes all the way out, hits real, real. Dumps that puck and hits Escasa on the far wall. Escasa was hoping it'd go by his player, but it did not. So here comes 67s and they dump it all the way down. Albert will come up, or pardon me, AJ Borelli will come out and play the puck to slow it down for Reggett. And there's Cowan. Cowan turns, and there's a lot of water on that ice, yeah. so they got to revert and go back. Cowan now is headed the other way. Cowan makes his way down the ice. He hits number 16, Bell. Bell's there. McDonald's still out there. Number 25, Turcott chases Watson. And A.J. Borelli comes out of the net and stops that puck for Watson. Watson makes his way. He's looking for a guy to pass to. He should have probably hit Cowan, who was blowing the doors off the far side, but instead he did go to Dos Reese, which isn't a bad choice either. No. Here goes Cowan, Cowan breaks in, and that 67 goalie hits him in the bread basket, no rebound, and he makes a day of it. Yep, 11, sh or 11 saves on 12 shots for Alex Bone. He's been effective when he's needed to, and he's done a good job today, keeping position, staying in front of the goal, and just being a reliable goaltender. Exactly, so the Greyhounds are there trying to get a puck in that net to bring it closer to three and uh, Watson's gonna try and do something here. He stops behind the net and he turns, sends it all the way up to Cowan. Cowan comes across the blue line. He's looking to get a goal here but he's looking also to get set someone up if he can. So it comes out, Johnston keeps it in, it goes all the way over the boards, and the play will come out to outside the blue line. And now that we have a quick break in the action, just gonna remind you of our games tomorrow, noon, Ottawa versus Waterloo, 315, Timmins versus Markham, 645, U18,
What was that? Here we go. Comes back. 21. Doss Reese. He just misses high. McDonald gets it. Back to Cowan. Cowan. Sends it to Watson. 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 Wants it again. Watson sends it back to Cowan. Cowan wants to get it to Dos Reese. Dos Reese. He needs to get open. He's got to move a little more. Or make them move more. And there it comes. Back in. Cowan shoots. Just misses. And there we go. McDonald has it. And LeBlanc. LeBlanc keeps it. And he pushes it in the corner farther. Or is that Bell? Sorry. Bell pushes it in the corner. Back to McDonald. The cow scores! Cowan rips on top shelf. Beautiful. Camden Cowan with the goal. And that will cut the lead a little bit down to 5 2. And Camden Cowan in the right place at the right time did a great job putting that in the back of the net. He's just a fantastic player, one of my favorite players in the team to watch. He's uh, one of the youngest players on this team joining. I think he joined around January. And that will make it 5 to 2, his first goal of the tournament. Okay. So here we go. Reggett sends it over. Reggett back to Reggett. And here goes Rio. Rio carries the puck in. Rio gets it in, comes to LeBlanc. LeBlanc has it now. Back to Reggett. Back to LeBlanc. LeBlanc looking for Rio. Rio's there. He scores! LeBlanc looking for Rio on the back door. Instead, it hits the skate and goes straight in the net wow. to get this to a 5-3 hockey game. So this is a brand new hockey game right now. Yes, it That's is. That's two quick ones in under a minute, and we got a brand new hockey game, only a two-goal game. It feels like it's a two-goal lead for the Sioux with the momentum they have and the fans. Biggest crowd they played in front of all year except for yesterday. And, oh, man, I hope nobody left prematurely because we got a game on our hands now. Yeah. So here we go, government's gonna drop that puck. And uh, there we go, Cowan gets it. Still got three minutes and 41 seconds in the power play. Watson carries it out, sends it to McDonald. And it gets dropped, thrown all the way back. And number 25, you can't leave it there with Turcotte. Yeah, Turcotte's too quick for Absolutely. That. And it's sent up to McDonald. McDonald gets skating for it. Bell gets it, he rips it all the way in. Goes into the far corner and the Greyhounds are there. Bell gets it, dumps it all the way back in. Dolce Reese is on it and so is Bell. Callum pinches and keeps that puck in. He turns and keeps it there. Turcotte's on him but he's able to give it off to Watson. Watson keeps it. Watson sets down to the bottom to Dolce Reese, into the middle and Oh, wow. And there we go. Cowan again gets the puck. Gives it back to McDonald. Back there. And there's a little chip. Look, here comes Bell. Bell goes around the horn. Bell stops at the hash mark. Gives it to Dos Reese almost. Dos Reese is there. Isn't able to get it. And Bell is able to get it back to McDonald. But McDonald was unable to stop it. So A.J. Borelli comes out and sends it up to McDonald. A.J. Borelli then, he's able to keep it yeah, out of he's his gotta, net. He's got to be and careful McDonald with that. here, he gets the puck, comes in, takes that shot. He's on the rebound. He scores! Five hole! Oh, my goodness! Oh, my goodness! Danny and McDonald! And something nice for McDonald. A man who comes off of a three-month Broken wrist, and he scores a goal in this game. The wow. fourth goal, very good. We have a hockey game. Yeah, so here we go, 5-4, seven minutes left. What? I just, and looks like. All right, so we got a timeout here. Not sure who took it, it should say. And it will.
turn of events. Seven minutes left in this game. 5-4 for Ottawa, 67s. Two minutes left in the penalty. It was a five minute penalty. And the player also was ejected from the game for the hit from behind. Reggett gets the puck off the draw and he sends it all the way up to DiBerdino. DiBerdino sends it in deep. That's where they've been having all their luck. Reggett's unable to keep it there. So AJ Borelli comes out of the net and plays it. Sends it over, DiBerdino chips it. It goes in deep. Albert's on it, DiBerdino's on it. Everyone's on it, but it comes back out again. There's Phillips, 71. He dumps it in. AJ Borelli sends it back up to Albert. Albert has it. Albert also has DiBerdino. Albert, DiBerdino, shot on net. Nothing happens. Yeah, and uh, I don't know what you, uh, what would you tell? Well, your... what I would tell them right now is we've got a minute 31 left. Let's go get a shot on net, get another, another whistle. Pull the goalie. I was actually going to ask you the opposite of that. What do you ask that your boys if you're on Ottawa's side? Uh, I would just tell them to tighten up. Yeah. That's all they have to do. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Tighten up and don't play the Greyhounds game of running around. Yeah, you definitely can't. Ooh. That's not your game. That I was very close there. That uh, tip almost went in. Dos Reese, he's one. He is amazing with his hands, that's for sure. If you would have put that uh, stick down about another 10 degrees, it would have went in the net. And it's absolutely amazing because about 10 minutes ago, it felt like this was all Ottawa. They had yeah. the vast majority of shots and they had all the momentum. Everything, and, yeah. Yeah, now it's it's interesting. Sports psychology is such an interesting thing because yeah. now it feels like the Greyhounds are winning the game and they haven't been struggling at all with the momentum it, they have. Exactly, yeah. So here we go, McDonald will get that puck. McDonald gets it, Watson has it now. Watson moves it up to Cowan. Cowan tries to get his feet moving and Watson turns. They gotta get going here, yeah. five minutes left. Watson moves in, he breaks the blue line. He tries to get set, but instead he loses the puck. It goes back to AJ Borelli. AJ's gotta be smart here. AJ is smart, he sends it up to Dos Reis. Dos Reis sends it in, Bell chases it. McDonald's with him, and but McDonald turns the wrong way. But here's Reggett, Reggett keeps that puck in hopefully. No he doesn't, and, but there's McDonald. McDonald corrals it. Cowan now has it, he's backpedaling. Reggett gets it, Reggett comes across his own blue line, but he sends it back to Cowan. Now Cowan's full steam ahead, he breaks in. He comes across the center, but he loses the puck again. There's AJ Borelli. He comes out of the net and it goes right in front and oh, they score. Man. That's Turcotte. AJ Borelli kind of took the wind out of the sails, but that's okay. It was a really great game. Nothing on him. You know, some people make mistakes. Sometimes you make them at the wrong time. And that was just the wrong time. No, Look at you, his players are going back and saying, hey man, don't worry about it, let it go. No, here's the thing is, the previous five goals weren't Borelli's fault. If, no. if we base this game off of Borelli's fault, it would be 4-1 Hounds, right? Yeah, exactly. It wouldn't be 6-4. So that would be completely ridiculous and unfair to you give, give Borelli, you know, yeah. whatever for that. And that's just unfortunate. It's just an unfortunate It is very bounce. unfortunate. Yep. Here we go. Gravel has it. And it was sure fun coming back, though. That's oh, absolutely. Sure. Absolutely. Gravel pushes that puck up and Dupuis tries to get it. We still got four minutes. Let's see if they can do anything. Johnston has it, but they look a little bit frustrated now. And there's a penalty, and we knew this was gonna start. Yeah, I just don't want to get out of hand. No, I don't want people to get hurt, that's for sure. Six, number six takes a penalty. Johnston, you can tell Lambert is frustrated yeah. with that. Uh, this is not a time to be sitting in the box, that's for sure. So, And, yeah, the Ottawa 67s will have a two-minute power play, four minutes, 32 seconds left to go in the game. Unfortunately, might be a little bit too tall of an order for the Greyhounds, but we'll see crazier things have happened in this game, and we will momentarily bring you our players of the game. Of course, a little bit different when we do it during the high school seasons. It's just a commentator's choice. It's not really representative of Sioux sports. 
Here we go, and the uh, Brown has the puck for 67s, puts it down in the corner, back out to the point, and they take the shot, but Borelli stops that. Four and, minutes left. And now that it's 4.06 left, we'll give you the players of the game, and for the Sioux Greyhounds, we had a couple great, great honorable mentions, Danny McDonald, Camden Cowan, especially that guy in goal, A.J. Borelli, but uh, Rod and I chose the same player. It'll be the alternate captain, number 18, Sebastian Do Reese. Oh, not, sorry, not 18, number 21, Sebastian Do Reese for the Hounds. And the player of the game with two goals and an assist, totaling three points, number 25 for the Ottawa 67s. That's Dylan Turcotte. Nice. So, Do Sebastian Do Reese, Dylan Turcotte, congratulations, gentlemen. You are the commentators' players of the game for tonight. Yeah. So here we go, 17, Brown just gets it back over to Turcotte. Turcotte gets across the blue line, holds. Sends it over to number 44. Back to Turcotte. Turcotte puts it back to number five, and he shoots, goes over the net and hits the mesh to flex up. Three minutes, 26 seconds left. And three more days of round robin action, then the tournament playoffs begin Saturday, April 13th. I believe it is the yeah, top four teams after round robin play make it. So it'll be second and third on the 12th or 12 p.m. on the 13th. And then the first versus fourth game at 315. And then of course, the finals are the next day. That's the format of this tournament. There's Murphy. Murphy puts it down below. Back out to Murphy. Murphy takes a slapper. And then the backhand from Phillips. And here it comes back to the defense, 67s. Phillips is in there digging. Watson, though, Watson gets to it. He sends it back to the point. That's number 16. Who has it? Murphy. Murphy sends it to McAvoy. McAvoy back to number eight. And they got big Phillips in front of the net. And here's McAvoy. He takes a shot, hits it high. And... There's no, Gravel, Gravel, Caruso. And there's Phillips again. Phillips. And he gets sent out. And here's Albert. Albert just desperately trying to get it out. Sends it up to, to number 10, McDonald. McDonald gets laced there. And that could have also been kind of. Mm. And there's a shot. And. It does not go in. Two wow. minutes and 18 seconds Oh, he left. gloved that. What a save. I thought that went in. Wow, that was a great <laughs> that save. That was a good glove. Yeah, number 29. Yeah. That's Alex Bowen, who's been really, really effective today. And just, you know, a steady goaltender for the Ottawa 67s. Got a little worrisome when he conceded a couple goals in a row there. But other than that, he's been pretty, yeah. pretty great. So we're going to face off here. And it looks like 6-7s win it. McDonald's chasing after it. Escoss is on it as well. It gets sent back to Raggett. Raggett over to number real. Raggett again. Back over to Escasa. Escasa to real. Back to Raggett. Raggett shoots. They get a tip. Nothing really. So Escasa has it again. He sends it back to Raggett. Raggett gives it to McDonald. Oh, and a good opportunity out in front McDonald. here. McDonald. Multiple good opportunities for the Hounds and the goalie is pulled, so we have six players on. And here we go, Raggett over, ah, comes out. So we were doing very well there, and then it just fell apart a bit. Uh, Raggett, Raggett's chase all the way down. Here he goes. Oh, and the defenseman falls. They got a lucky chance there. Does the puck go in the net? No, no. it doesn't. So a minute 19 left. They got a chance, though they got one stoppage of play inside here. So let's get a set play going if they have one. Hopefully they've already, they know a few already because they don't have any uh, timeouts left. So yeah, absolutely. Let's like, there shouldn't be anyone left on the wall. DiBerdino shouldn't be over there. Everybody should be sitting yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah, absolutely. You should be stacking as much exactly. as you can. Exactly. So I don't know what, so here we go. Yeah, you should have stacked, absolutely. Yeah, and my, un my and untrained hockey eye can see that. Yes. So there we go. Albert tries. Nothing there. And Albert will try and keep it in. Cowan now has it. 
Cowan tries to put it to DiBerdino, but Caruso just throws it at the net and nothing happens. And it looks like it's the last minute here of this period and um, Gravel tries to get a shot off, but nothing really was on it. So Cowan comes back, he hits Gravel with a pass and there's Albert, Albert goes and he's gonna break the blue line and try and go in, but 35 seconds left doesn't mean much, but it hits that stand. So we're gonna get a call inside. So if they can put a puck in real quick and then get down <laughs> yeah. and get a stoppage on that net, pull the goalie again, then there's a chance, but that's the only chance. Yeah, you only you know, one clearance and this game's probably over. So that's what Ottawa's looking to do. Even if you just ice the puck here, that's all you're really looking to do. Shots are 39-24 in favor of the Ottawa 67s and a tie up and yeah. Yeah. There we go, Escasa. He gets bullied off the puck a little bit there and uh, Real backs up. He gets it, sends it up to Reggett. Reggett just dumps it all the way back to Real and Real now does it and There we go. Three seconds left. Yeah, 3.1 seconds left in this one, and it'll pretty much do it. 6-4 for the Ottawa 67s. 8.48 p.m. here in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. Thank you for everyone near and far yes. across the province who has been joining us these past couple days. It's been a blast, and we're just really excited to get back here on Wednesday. Yeah. And that'll do it. So we thank you from Sioux Sports and True House Media. And we thank the U18 teams for inviting us to do this. And we look forward to calling the three games tomorrow. So we'd like to thank you for joining us. And hopefully we'll see you back here tomorrow at noon.